Just dropping some gesture lines for our little warm up sketch. And by gesture lines, I mean pure chaos. In today's video, we're just gonna be doing some warm up sketches to get your machines revved up. These are essentially just to loosen you up a bit before you go into the heavy stuff. Feel me? So there's several websites that kind of help you go through your training arc, if you will. You're throwing a lot of references at you. You decide what those references are going to be. Usually very interesting to look at. You decide how long each reference is going to stay on the screen. And your task is to draw them as best as you can. Generally to get a nice gesture vibe to get as many features as you can from the original reference. You can go for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds per reference. And you're just going, 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 going. And this kind of helps you get more comfortable sketching, build some confidence, and get you warmed up. This is also great practice if you're having trouble with certain things. You can get references here, and the more you do, the better and more comfortable you are drawing those things. They got. Well, we're gonna go to quickposes.com. So see here, we can kind of find the setting we want. I'm just gonna go femme fatales again. Let's go 90 seconds, just because I'm gonna be talking as well. Once you're ready, you just press start and begin. So beginning, maybe you want to start with the head and then have like action line of kind of how the spine is going to be and where like most of the, I guess, energy, strength, what, what leg is holding up the whole body. Then you can do maybe some lines to figure out the shoulders a little bit. So clearly going like this. And these are like really easy, quick strokes that you want to be finding. <laughs> it's going to be difficult because I'm trying to do a tutorial at the same time. So probably going to be slower than usual. And yeah, and then you kind of form it from there. Again, you have all these, you have all these quick strokes looking for the correct one before you go into maybe a little more detail. And uh, closer to the hips. Like I always tell you guys in the other tutorials, usually the hand is going to be somewhere below the hips. And then you kind of go from there. And you know, add, some, add some hair. So even with this, you can also kind of draw in layers and then add the details afterwards should be done pretty soon and we'll go to the next one. Now with the next one, let's add a little more flair. You wanna watch out for some of the natural curves that would be essentially happening with the body. But with this one, we'll see less so because uh, we see a lot of um, clothing on this one. But again, you're drawing really quickly almost like focusing on just like the mannequin of it. You have all these lines kind of going any, everywhere. You're pretty loose with it. You're not going too crazy. Just kind of getting used to moving your hand almost and getting comfortable building confidence. Again, we can draw on layers and maybe we should focus on just getting the pose right first. So do it again. Let's see if we can get, if I can get more detail than usual with this one. Again, go with the spine, see how it's going, add a line of action. See where all the most pressure is placed. Just have quick lines, quick strokes. You're not spending too much time trying to get the line perfectly. Notice how the hand is kind of going backwards a little bit. It's not just straight to the side. Have some hair going here. Again, you have that. And with, with, uh, with the female anatomy, it's always more fun to draw this kind of action line thing because of the hips and stuff like that. You can get like some really fun I guess curves. Let's figure out the shoulders, how sometimes one bumps up higher than the other because they both the hands are doing different things. The 
It's like simple raggedy quick strokes and shapes just to get a basic gist of what's actually happening. See how the shoulder is right, you know, behind the head. We do the curved lines right here. This is an interesting one because we get to see a little bit of foreshortening happening. Again, this is like good practice to add to whatever you do normally. Just to practice, build confidence, especially if you're like new. I think I've seen this one before. Also nice, similar to the last one we just did, like bending, see how much I can get from this one. And hard to see, because a lot of it is dark. But yeah, pistol. The other hand kind of coming down, almost like uh, doing a little bit of a Spider-Man thing. Again, nice for a shortening because you get get to see more like action femme fatale type characters and how that will actually play out. See the muzzle, blah blah. Heck. A little bit of a hat thing going on. The other pistol right here. We can do the action line, which is doing something like this. All right. Show the so I go back. It really teaches you a little bit about anatomy, where you find curves, you get to see different body types, and all sorts of things. So this is definitely pretty good practice. And this is behind. And I have I do these like quick hatching to help differentiate. If you want to catch a smaller little trick, if you want to draw faster, you have to draw it smaller. Sometimes you can draw the weapon first so you know exactly where their hands should be, like their fists and whatnot. Again, have that action line, and then you go straight down because of the leg. You get to see practice with a lot more muscle and stuff like that. If you give yourself more time, you can go into more detail if you want to get it exact. Um, leg. Almost the, the kick, you can kind of do a line to show that it's the leg is going higher than the head. the shoulders you can see how it's going from like they're not the same height it's almost going in this direction one leg is in front of the other this is caveman clothing
And usually if you can get it to this point, then adding details and knowing where everything's going to be placed, it just makes everything a little easier. Again, we'll draw, maybe draw the spear, the line for the spear, so we know exactly where to put the fist. And then it makes putting the forearm easier. And where to place that, makes that easier. Again, if you draw smaller, you will be able to draw this faster. I was just trying to draw it a little bigger so you guys can kind of see what's happening a little better. There's a little curve like so. Again, some foreshortening happening so we don't see the other arm as as much. Kind of just see a little bit of the forearm, but the rest of it is blocked behind. I mean, has she has her cape. This is one of those things where we could have experimented and maybe drawn the cape doing something completely different if we want. Maybe the hair doing something more interesting if we want. Well, here are some other drawings that we've done, but these are some warrior dudes instead. I advise you experiment with all the options they offer. That way you get more acquainted with drawing different kinds of things and different kinds of people, different kinds of poses, warriors, femme fatales, the list goes on. And I think the more you do this, the more confidence you build and the more you add more of that realistic touch to your drawings, at least understanding them and realizing what that translation means in your art style. As you'll see with some of these, I'm just having fun, warming up, even tweaking the drawings a little bit. If one of them is not interesting enough or something like that, you can kind of maybe change the finger position or the legs or whatever and experiment with that based off of all the other things you've been learning with the previous drawings that you've been creating with reference. Because based off of this whole studying process, you're learning things that you can apply to, you know, maybe drawing a completely different pose. Definitely these kind of warm-up drawings, especially if you're starting out as a beginner, are things that I would definitely add to your routine. For two and a half people that made it to the end of this video, thank you. Don't forget to like this video, holy ghost, smash the subscribe button, and hit the bell so you stay notified each time I upload absolutely anything. A lot of you guys watched the video, not many of you guys are subscribed. Please, it's free, easy to do, and help support the channel. Like and subscribe and hit the bell. And give me your money. I'm just kidding. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Check out more videos on this channel. My series, Apple Black, publishes your lives on Saturday AM. Links to everything you possibly need, including my social media, will be linked in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out How to Draw Diverse Manga. It's our new tutorial book. Definitely one of the best how to draw books I've ever seen, but I'm biased, I guess. Links to pre-order will be in the description and more. Again, check out more videos. Swipe manga, and I'm Audi 9000.